Podcast. I am your host, Theo Coop. We are back with another video. This time we got a blind reaction to Kendra G and her nonsense. Let's, let's get to it. Well, she's starting off the interview with a bonnet, so that's a clear indication we're in for a ratchet ride. Let's get to it. Well, you got better life, baby. Let me see. Or maybe it's just me. What's your name, sweetheart? It's better. Eyelashes. And you got to excuse my bonnet, Kendra. It's, it's nighttime where I am. Okay, Don't well, matter. I, I can tell you about to be a ball of energy. Rapid What's your name? What's your name, honey? I'm Diamond from off of Facebook. Everybody know me. Everybody knows you on Facebook? Stop the cap. Lady, don't nobody know you. Off top, we have the bonnet, raptor claws, ghetto eyelash, and it look like she got a cheek piercing as well. Oh, man. Yes, ma'am. Diamond, where are you calling me from? I'm in New York right now. Shout out to New York. Live? Yes. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, though. Okay. What part of New York do you live in? I'm in Jamestown. Jamestown. You have any children, Diamond? I got six, Kendra. God six damn. Kids. How old are your kids, Diamond? How old is she? 26, 23, 20, 15, 9, and 6. 9 and 6. How old are you, Diamond? I'm 44. 44. Let's do some math here. 44 with a 26-year-old. That's what I always do in these situations. I go straight to the age. 44 with a 26-year-old. That means you had your baby at 18. Teenage mother alert. Have you ever been married? I'm married right now, but I'm, I'm, I'm separated. My husband is a cheater. How many, how many children's dads do you have? Just one? I got six, Kendra. I gave every man I love the baby. Hey, yo, what the fuck? This bitch. It gets to a point where it stops being funny and just outright sad, man. We also say that BS so proudly with a badge of honor. You gave every man that you was with a child six children by six different men. No wonder she switched states. She hot in the ass. Do I smell a whore? Indeed we do. Back to it. So you have six children by six men? Yes, ma'am. Are you married to one of their fathers right now? No, no. Hell to the no. Okay, so you have six children by six men and you're married to a different man. That's right. What type of sucker ass, simp ass dude is gonna marry a woman who had six children by six different men? How long have you been married to this man for? Um, For six years. Well, you have a six year old. That's right, he came in the picture as soon as I had my son. <laughs> You just got some fire vagina. I got some good cool to counter, Miss Kendra. It's good. You do realize that we can see you lying, right? I'm wow. <laughs> Look, I've been trying to get in your show for like six months. Right? Nails, man. But now I gotta get to this. How long have you been separated for? Because you're technically married. You're I've been me. separated now for about um almost two years. So what's taking so long for you to be divorced? Um, I don't want to pay for it, Kendra. I feel like I'm I'm giving him a way out. I feel like he need to pay for the divorce. Or well, if a man, gonna... if I meet if I meet a guy, you know what I'm saying, and he really want to, you know, be with me, we'll handle that then. But I, I ain't really into all that marriage stuff no more. So you know, I got I got to think about this, Diamond, because I talk about this all the time. Married people coming on the show and, and i know i love the lord i be listening to you i know <laughs> god will whoop my tail for that eventually i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm a get it together so you're saying you're gonna stay married until you meet a man worth getting a divorce i hate this content what's wrong with that kendra well how are you gonna meet a man worth getting a divorce if you're still married because it might you being married is probably gonna turn some good men off no he gonna understand that's where the conversation come in at so what's the conversation? What's the explanation of how that makes sense? The conversation is going to be as long as he's going to be consistent and he's going to be there. You know what I'm talking about? As long as he ain't going to play no games, I go ahead and do it. I don't have no problem with getting one now. When's the last time you and your husband had sex? Oh, my God. I haven't had sex with that clown in um almost three years. Three years. Okay. So, Diamond, do all your kids live with you? Hell no. Um, no, I have four of them that was adopted, Miss Kendra. Oh, and so you didn't give birth to six children? I gave birth to six kids. Four of them was adopted out to other people. So that means she lost her babies. Listen how she tried. Is this hood booger who looks like Mookie Blaylock? Is this bitch up here saying she lost four of her babies? You can't make this shit up, man. Look, fellas, are you tired of seeing women like this? Lord knows I am. And I know what you guys thinking. Gotta get one of these ready, Theo. I gotta get out the country. But hold on, man. Not so much. We got a solution for that. Thanks to the good people over at Christian Filipina. If you know anything about myself, I'm an extremely religious man. 
Stop the cap. And I know that a lot of my brothers here are grabbing their passport and looking for love overseas. But no, 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 fellas. You don't have to get on the plane, fly out to the other side of the world. There's no need for that. Because thanks to the good people over at Christian Filipina is the number one dating service. And why would you want to date a Filipina? Because Filipino women are loyal, caring, supportive, and devoted to their man. And the icing on the cake is that Filipinas are interested and attracted to Western men. And they also speak English fluently, unlike some of the other women that we cover on this channel. And one thing that this service provides access to women who are fit feminine and friendly everything that viewers of the do better pod will be looking for so make sure you guys sign up for their service at christianfilipina.com and i'll leave the link in the description as well and i ended up getting two more i had two more and i got cussed at though also as some so for your children she oh, lost for her the people what happened yeah ma'am it's okay you're so nosy me can't <laughs> i used to be on i used to be on cocaine long time ago i got 13 years clean pets on my back and um, God gave me a second chance. He gave me a second chance, and I had two more kids. You know, um, and I I raised them. I left the hospital with my my last child, and I didn't had them going on six years. But I give her this. I give her props for getting sober and maintaining her sobriety for 13 years. That's a hell of an achievement. I've talked about it before on, on my live streams, not really in my videos, but I had a problem with drinking for a long time as well. So props to everyone gets that monkey off their back. And she maintained it for 13 years. But at the same time, we have to hold you accountable for your actions. How did the lives of those four children that were adopted, as she said, which is her way of saying the state took my children from me because I wasn't a, a competent parent. But how did their lives turn out? Okay, well, I'm, I'm happy you've been clean for 13 years. Thank you Salute. so much. Praise God. Okay, so, and what do you do for a living, Diamond? She got a goddamn um, job. She I got a job. my ass right now, Miss Kendra. You hear me? Because, um, me, ma'am, I, you know, I'm a Facebook little celebrity. You know what I'm talking about? So, Facebook handled me. Oh, so you a Facebooker? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to check her profile. Maybe I'm not that familiar with Facebook, but we'll look her up. Maybe she is a big deal on Facebook. You're a Facebooker. Okay. So, that's how you, so that's how you pay your bills. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Diamond, Um, what's your zodiac sign? I'm here. a Taurus like you, me, ma'am. When's your birthday? April the 26th. Okay. So let's do this, Diamond. Diamond is married. She's going to get a divorce because she don't want to pay for herself, but she will get it if she meets a man that is worth it. So what kind of man are you looking for, Diamond? Even girl? Kendra noticed some bullshit. I'm looking for one that um that's not going to lie. Somebody that's gonna be consistent, um, that's gonna be um, compassionate about my past, cause I got an extensive past. No and, shit. You know, it's a hell of a past. You know what I'm talking about. So somebody that's gonna be understanding, and you know, just God fearing. I love the Lord. He gotta love the Lord, Miss Kendra. He gotta love the Lord. Um, you have any Take ass right questions? Now? Yes. Thank you for asking me that. I don't want nobody with no stank breath. You hear me? I've been meeting people with a whole lot of holotosis, Miss Kendra. Um, I know I got a gap right here, right there, like that. But I don't want nobody that that don't have no teethuses in their mouth. Teethuses. Um, I don't do stank feet because men tend to come, you know, over to my house. You know, when I was dating with functified feet, Miss Kendra. And um, I don't want nobody that smell like a wooden nickel. You hear me? They got this. They got to have some cologne going on. You know, you you got to give me something that make me want to eat you up or suck something you know what i'm talking about so yeah ma'am yeah ma'am that right there and they gotta have that appearance i don't want no um no wolf man jack you know because i can get jiggy with it when i want to so he can't be you know he gotta be up to par on his appearance and stuff like that you know what i'm talking about Oh, okay. <laughs> Kendra knows she's full of shit. And I'm looking at Kendra as well. With that long weave and that hat. This bitch look like a witch. Let's get back to it. Um, you um, gotta smell good so you can give him so you can so you'll be willing to so I can so I'm willing to hop up on it, Mika. And give give him baby number seven. Gotta smell good. You hop up on it if it smells good. That's right. That's right. Um, okay, Diamond, what's the age range you would date? Um, you know what? Them young boys is something else, Miss Kendra. Normally I would take me some down, but guess what? I think I'm a, I'm gonna go from the age range to about I say 39 to about 54. Cause even in their 30s they be kind of crazy. 39 to 54. Mm -hmm. Former crackhead in New York. Um, I would prefer if he be in the surrounding areas where I am. Mm -hmm. You know, um, 
Ohio, New York, and you know, the surrounding Buffalo, you know. Okay. All right, Diamond. Um, does he gotta make a certain amount of money? You know what? Let me tell you something. God always provides. Provide. <laughs> I'm not looking for nobody that um that um that they gotta take care of me. You know, I'm I'm really with that fifty fifty thing. You know what I'm saying? Because I can pull my own way. I'll give her that. You know, um, as long as he make enough money to, you know, um, do what he got to do. And then if I need some of his, you know what I'm saying? He he can give me some of his, too. Okay. Okay. Let's do the kids. Oh, does he got to look a certain way? You already said that, right? You know what? Kendra's so terrible. Normally, job. I don't do fat guys, Miss Kendra, because I, normally I have to hold on to their titties. And then it, <laughs> when I'm in the mood and... And wrap funny. my legs around them. That it be hurt. It be hurt me real bad. So I don't. I don't want no fat man because I keep having to hold on to him, and then they have to throw me off over. You know what I'm talking about? For me to get up off them, and then my legs and stuff be hurt. So I don't want no fat man with no big old belly. You know. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. Um, Diamond, let's do the Kendra can. Let's do the <laughs> Kendra, Diamond. notice a mess. Okay, baby, let me put, let me put, she look like she in shape. Right here but I don't really give a fuck. Let me put you in my ring light. This so is a hood booger. my little body out, me, Ken. You know, she weaved up under you that know, bonnet. She's still fine as wine to be 44 years old. You know what I'm talking about? She's probably always been in good shape. Them little titties might hang a little bit, but that's okay. They can pick them up and suck them, you can't. <laughs> Any man who signs up for this is an obvious fool. If this lady try to contact me, you know what I'll say to her? Access denied. Oh, God. Diamond, when was the last relationship, baby? Um, it's, it's The last relationship was since I left my husband. That was two years ago? Yeah. So you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Ooh. That was with that same fat man, McKendra, and he, ooh. So that was that was about, I want to say about maybe six months ago. Six months ago. Yo, that so kind of spoiled my appetite. Technically, <laughs> you're not single. You married, but you've been separated for two years. But why do you think you're... I'm, I'm single because, look, when he cheated Miss Kendra, the Bible tells you that I had all grounds to leave his tail. But you so still ain't divorced him yet, wife. though. That was your... What, what scripture? What part of that was in the Bible? <laughs> that was in, um... Diamondologist, 34. Diamondologist. Yes, ma'am. I'll at least give this to Kendra. Give some of these women that push back when they start talking this religion shit, which she should do all the time. Put more, I'll give Kendra that. A good tact of Kendra, but more of these weave queens on blast when they ask ridiculous shit. All right, Diamond. Why would a man be lucky to be with you, Diamond girl? Because I know how to cook and clean and I don't smell like onion rings. You know, and um, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm just me. I'm tons of fun. Um, my personality is everything, you know, um, my testimony is going to cause them just to love me and just want to hold on to me like they did in the movie, baby boy, you know, with, you know, holding with Melvin said when she told Melvin, hold me tighter, you know, they're going to want to hold on to me, Miss Kendra. They're going to hold on to you. All right. Diamond. This is Diamond 44. She was a 39 to 55. She has six kids. She was from New York, lives in New York. Um, she's a she's a Facebook celebrity, you said, right? Yes, ma'am. She seemed like a nice enough lady, but she had entirely too much baggage. On top of having six children by six different men, four children that she ended up losing to the system, and as well as being addicted to drugs at one point in her life. And I'm glad that she got sober. Think about this. I know for a fact that that woman had at least six dicks in her. That's five dicks too many. There might be women right now watching this video and they done had more than six dicks in their lives too. You whore. At least y'all didn't have a baby by every said dick. But what the hell do I know? I'm just a wee head talking on YouTube. You guys let me know what you think after party in the comments. It's your lord and savior Theo Coop, but you can call me bitch. Do better. Uh, excuse me, bitches?